This is The 500 with Josh Adam Myers. I am Josh Adam Myers, and I finally have a podcast. So what did you know about The White Stripes before I told you to listen to this record? I have always loved The White Stripes and Jack White's music and all of his bands and shit. Like I've, I've always been into it. But when he came out, I was in a really difficult period in my career where... I kind of lost everything. I was watching with one eye on the other side. Kneeling. Whoa. He's Kevin Nealon. He's Kevin Nealon. But here's a guy like Boss Gags. He's the kind of guy you really can't pinpoint where he's from. You think, you know, growing up I thought, this guy must be from New Orleans or something, you know, or... But who would know he went to St. Mark's prep school with Steve Miller? <laughs> it's, it's just so crazy, it's crazy. that stuff just comes to you sometimes. I know. <laughs> oh, Jim Jeffries. Oh, Jim Jeffries. I, like I, I, like I, I am so fucking happy to finally sit down with you for this because, to be honest, Jim, you're the reason that I'm doing this and I turn this into a podcast because Why? when I posted about the Stone Roses, you sent me that DM that was like, this is one of my favorite records of all time. It'd be, and then, it'd be in my top five albums of all time, easy. This is the podcast where each week, me and my guests go through Rolling Stone Magazine's top 500 albums list. And we're going to start at 500 and we are going to work our way down to number one over the next 9.6 years. And it's not even something that I feel like I want to do. I feel like I have to do this so I can grow as a human being. Because now I know where we've been musically. Ryan Sickler. You make a lot of questionable decisions. But this is one of the more solid decisions you've ever made. I have made a lot of bad decisions. <laughs> Too many. When you said, I want you to do B.B. King, I was like... Done. Byron Bowers. Yeah, that bass line is strong in that song. It's a good song to dance or drive to or just keep moving. And then, just when you think it's over, the breakdown comes. Oh, with the clapping? The, it's, ah, it's the, back, it's the back, blues. Back, back, it's like a blues back, get down. Back, yeah. Back, 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 back. It's like a good old, like, what I would think a hold down was. Big J Okerson. I am a big Cindy Lauper fan in general. She was, when I was a kid, like I definitely had a crush on her. The record label wanted her to release Time After Time first, but she was like, I don't want to do a ballad off the jump because that's not what That's I smart. Am. Gareth Reynolds. I didn't know about MGMT. They opened up for Paul McCartney at Fenway Park. Do Paul McCartney walking into their green room. Just wanted to stop by and say I'm a huge fan. Well, anyway, we can't pay you. <laughs> I'm so happy to be able to talk to you about this record finally. I feel like I've been tracking you down for <laughs> so long. For months, you've been like, listen to Bonnie Raitt, this album now. <laughs> how annoying was those? I was like, I'll get to it, geez. You're on set. You're like, you're like, yeah, okay, yeah, Jennifer Anderson, can you hold on for a second? All right, what track is it? The Sklaw Brothers. I'm sitting down. Down with the Sklaw Brothers. Jeff Tweedy converted to Judaism. I love me more. Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech Haolam Asher Haolam Lechadodi Lechadodi Lechadodi. It's powerful when you sit down, you listen to this record, and you know it's you're gonna go through a range of emotions. I have. I don't just listen to the record once. I listen like 40 times. Break this shit down. I've literally had like 19 panic attacks trying to put this motherfucking thing together. But guess what? I am proud of it. Well, you're in your little room. Don't forget to subscribe to this podcast, rate and review. Please give it a five-star rating. It's a record book club using the greatest recorded music in the history of mankind. Tell your friends. Comment. Join this movement, people. Thanks so much for tuning in, everybody. Oh my god, what a great way to start this. That was it. That's how we're starting. <laughs> Bill Burr, finally. Finally.
Album 497. Do you realize this is going to take you so long? We're probably going to have a falling out and not be friends for like albums 375 to 225. Our reunion is around album 180. (laughs) And then when you retire like Carson, I'll show up.